um, let's talk about the ban of Okada and even Keke Napeb driver. As the Lagos State Government, Dr. Marasai talks a plan stay on ground to create an alternative where it go better the lives of Lagosians. Now, according to the Lagos State Government, the talks say about 65 buses, neither one actually bring, where it go join the others on some major uh, routes for inside Riobodo, um, Lagos State. And he said this one will start. Now, yesterday, now the talk said this one will actually um, start. He said not less than 550 more buses that they expect them to enter inside uh, Weobodo, Lagos. So that one means the alternative um, trans means of transportation that will provide them on ground where it will help Lagosians um, to move from point A to point B. Now, still speaking on top of the ban, we'll be entering inside streets to speak with a lot of people and uh, we, they actually use the Okada, they use the Kekena Pep to go walk, even some of the riders. And this now within the talk. My name is Starboy. I'm Anna Zekinsley. My name is Sarah. I'm Jay Anese. My name is Nedu Ejogu. My name is Rafael Ayemowa. I'm Russell. My name is Pauline Gabriel. It's not been easy because I have to trek all the way from Bullshin under the sun and I don't know, it's not encouraging at all. I will tell you I'm very, very happy because Kakemaru and Okada, they use it to rob, thief, snap people back, take people phones. And I'm very appreciate the way they stop it. The traffic is no more. I love that. Before Keke Morua come, we have been moving our business. Before Okada come, we have been moving our business. Not only Lagos, they banned it. Many places they banned it, they continue their business. Let's talk to the reality. Let's Nigeria move forward. We don't want going back. I love the way they banned it. It was very stressful because I came from Ikoto. So when I got to Celeste Press, I did not see even a vehicle that would convert me from uh, the express to Lawansim. Basically, for me, it's been stressful, very stressful because I don't see any reason for the banning of KKs and motorcycles around Lagos State. For me, it's really stressful because, one, if you'd ask me, I'll say it's unfair. It was very, very hectic, extremely hectic because the normal routine that I used to take, I didn't meet it. I didn't know how hectic it was until my sister returned home. She was going to buy um, meat. She's a businesswoman, she sells food. So she buys uh, food stuff early in the morning, then she comes to prepare and sell to her customers. So she returned and the complaint was, there are too many people at the bus stop. Why are there too many people? There are no keke, there are no motorbike. Actually, um, before this time, I don't know, the government could have at least, you know, find an alternative, you know, means of living for these uh, people because most of them are actually husbands. Some of them are aspiring in their own um, in a different field of endeavor and they need money. So right now I'm coming from Ojedu. Before I got here now it's very stressful because uh, if it is before, before I got there it's been, you know, it's been more easier than the way I come because there is no color, there is nothing, nothing on the road and all these people, all these bus now, they now use this van as an opportunity for them to hide the price of the transportation. Getting to the bus stop now, the downfall I saw, Due to the crowd and all that, I couldn't even enter because they were just pushing, struggling to enter with the crowd. And also let me trek. I have to trek all the way from Mushi down to Jolegba. My opinion is that uh, let, them, let, let them just leave the Okada people at the Marwa. I would, I would just say government should look for alternative means of income for these people because now many of them will be very, very um, jobless and is going to tell on, on us, on other people who are working, because we are not safe. If the government know what they are doing, and I respect their decision, but however, they should also, before they banned Okada and Kegede, they should try to put something in place. Probably make sure that the, good, the road are in a good order first, because the common masses are the ones suffering it. For me, it's not a good one because I think there should be the other alternative for it. Like outside Lagos, uh, where we don't have um, where we don't have Okadas. At least what Keke can, what Okada can do, Keke can also do it. So they should leave our Keke for us. I don't think it's okay. They have to bring it back. They shouldn't ban it because 
we the students, so many people need it. They should provide another mix for those Okada man so that they can be able to look for an ends with. For them just to park like that is unfair. I'm one of the Okada rider. Um, I know that government has power and maybe because of what Okada riders did that made government did that, it's fine. But what I've plead government to do is that it should show mercy because of some people. They should not take the punishment of two or three people to punish the whole world. Because as I'm talking to you now, since morning I haven't eat. Even the person that I collected market of um, 10,500, I paid him 4,000, 4, he meant six. I'm a man of God, I'm not supposed to do did bad, but because there is no money, I did not pay him. Even the person I collected put eat 300 because they know me that I, if I collect, I used to pay. I did not pay. So now, I now look as a liar, as a 419, but which is not supposed to be so. Since morning, I'm begging somebody for 15 naira, doesn't give me. We are now, if there is a way that to sell the bike, because the way they owe me along the road that I wanted to carry the bike to my village, they owe me all the money that I get, I take pay to station before they release the bike. But now I cannot sell it. Don't know what I'm thinking now to do. The only thing I'm thinking now is to sell my area on whether to go to farm and go and do farm work. So I plead the government, even if I suffer, but it should release other people. It should show mercy for some other people. All right. All right, welcome back. Yes, um, the talk say this ban um, say they don't enforce and for inside 15 local government areas and local council um, so development area. area across the state. And this one they very, very necessary because the kind rate of um, casualties where they get accidents where they happen for road, say this one don't they too much and that's now why the Lagos state government they actually put this one on ground. Now they will talk say even criminals them say that now this Okada and the KK now that they use they do their badness for inside the Obodo Lagos. And the come outside, they even applaud a lot of Lagosians. Say the high level of compliance, that means say all of them agree to what the Lagos state government do. He say they're very, very strong. He said, but that they, on, they understand, say discomfort actually, they, a lot of people where they go work, that they experience a lot of discomfort. Say very soon, very soon, the alternatives will go roll them out. And these alternatives, now to bring in more buses, not less than 550 more buses that they go bring in come to Obodo Lagos, where they go make sure say it go better the lives of Lagosians, where they go from one point to the other. While they, they come outside talk about these alternatives, a lot of people they come outside talk say why this alternative not there on ground even before they be banned the Kekena Pep and the Okada men. While others they come outside they applaud the government say yes for new change to come. We must to suffer, and this now they suffer what we need to suffer for change to come. Now people they, they come in as much as some people they happy, and some people know they too happy now. Some other people don't use opportunity, don't seize this one as opportunity to do what we call increase um in increase, their fares. increase in their fares. Have a lot increased. of bosses have, so now we this one come bring questions. Say who there for there to mm. regulate the cost of transportation mm -hmm. for inside mm -hmm. any con any state for that matter mm -hmm. for inside Nigeria? Because it can't be like say these commercial buses they get their own association, we go just sit down. They feel decide say when they see opportunity like Very oh sad. let's increase because now you, the, the, it's one thing to have this this hardship on these people mm. then the other one where they feel fall back on is even giving them another hardship mm -hmm. transportation buses not even there then if few buses were there they don't they increase, increase price and they go tell you with with better or cogas who say if you don't want pay shift because there's no alternative because for you. people there for there to pay even far more than That's what they're right. putting on ground very sad one but just to add to ram we will see a video of um, a dispatch rider being harassed now Dispatch drivers, they're not there, uh, this they're, category. they're not there for inside this category. Now, according to Lagos State Government, if you're not the way they deliver things, you can do your own business business, but make sure say you obey traffic rules. If you see where green light there, you can move. If you see where red light there, you will stop. Because if you don't obey traffic rules, they feel actually bab you. But dispatch riders, not there among the people where they ban for inside the Obodo Lagos. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.